Nestled in central Trinidad, along the coast of the Gulf of Paria, lies one of the wonders of the West Indies, a Hindu temple sitting in the sea. The temple is a place of pilgrimage for many from around the world who come to worship or to gaze upon this unusual sight. The original temple was built in 1972 by Siodas Sadhu, an East Indian indentured laborer who lived in the neighboring sugarcane estates. A devout Hindu, Sadhu built a temple on land in 1947, but the owners of the land, the Tate and Lyle Sugar Company, had it broken down and Sadhu was jailed. On his release, Sadhu decided he would build a temple on no man's land and he chose the sea as the location for his new temple. It took him 25 years carrying one brick and one bucket of concrete per day on his bicycle to complete the temple. The temple was rebuilt in 1995 as a government tourism project and remains managed by a committee. Hindu prayer sessions are conducted on auspicious occasions and on Sunday mornings. The temple is located adjacent to the Isaac Yankaran cremation site. And not far away from the 85 foot Hanuman Murti, the tallest such Murti outside of India. It shares car park facilities with the cremation site and nearby public cemeteries, which are maintained by the Kuva Tabakit Talparo Regional Corporation, the local government body. The area has a small waterfront park with seats, which presents a picnic area for families and a view of the ocean. The site is a popular stop for tourists and other visitors. I had a lot of foreign friends with me and I took them there because, you know, it's very rare that you would find a place of worship out in the ocean and, um, you know, the sunset, uh, the pebble, the pathway, um, how it's positioned. There's an aura about this place that uh, I enjoy. I did it with the University of West Indies practically two years ago in 2016. And um, basically, I studied tourism, so we had to look at different sites and attractions around Trinidad and Tobago, um, basically for historical purposes. The location is also popular among nature seekers, especially bird watchers. Others come for the spectacular sunset views to admire the relief of Hindu deities that adorn the walls of the temple. To conduct worship or to find a quiet place 
for spiritual reflection. The distractions from this venue include the lack of adequate signage to direct visitors who are unfamiliar with this area. Some people may find the location to be isolated and potentially dangerous. The upkeep of some of the infrastructure is lagging and stray dogs can be seen scavenging. There are visible signs of pollution, much of which come from the disposal of non-biodegradable worship items, such as plastic and concrete murtis, which are thrown into the sea after pujas or Hindu prayers. Non-environmental distractions include the religious rules, which are strictly enforced. These forbid persons consuming alcohol and meat on the compound or entering the temple after having consumed these items. There is presently a lack of washrooms at the temple, but one is being constructed. Broken furniture in the neighboring park can contribute to a feeling of neglect and dilapidation and deter visitors. Despite the distractions, the temple in the sea encourages persons to keep the area clean which is healthy for the fauna and the general environment. It also provides a place for family-friendly activity. The temple in the sea stands as a landmark that reminds us of the challenges of our colonial history and the perseverance of our forefathers. It contributes to increasing the traffic through the neighboring villages and benefits the residents who engage in small business. It helps create a positive environment. The most noticeable area for improvement is in reducing the non-biodegradable pollution from the religious practices. This can be achieved through a collective effort among stakeholders to educate users of the facilities in the use of biodegradable murtis and puja items. In although the temple in the sea remains a stunning attraction within Trinidad and Tobago's tourism products and a wonder to behold. Shri Giri Bhara Krishna Murari Ki